I have recently finished a full-time software development bootcamp course and now I'm searching for a junior developer role. I'm not really limiting myself to either front-end or back-end roles as I enjoy aspects of both of them and the most important thing right now is to get my foot in the door. If you didn't know already, I quit my job in the actuarial field to pursue programming. So I am mid-career changing at the moment and since finishing my course, I did brush up on my CV and they did give some support with that. So now I'm focusing on my portfolio of projects. While on the course, I learned JavaScript, HTML, and CSS and later on in the course we were able to do a project where we chose our own tech stack and I got some exposure to Python and TypeScript. I'm currently splitting my time between applying for jobs, creating a full stack app, studying and YouTube which I put a bit on the back burner during my course because it was quite intense. I have been invited to a first stage interview which will be a talk through of my CV and experience so I've been prepping for that by actually knowing what's on my CV and being able to talk about it and also coming up with some questions that they could ask off the back of my CV. The job role also mentions Perl, the programming language, and it's not a necessary thing to have but it's desirable. So I wanted to familiarise myself with the syntax so I will be planning to do that later this week just so I can get ahead of the game a bit and I like to treat it as if I am going to be getting the job which I will need to know Pearl. I do like to manifest things so I keep my mindset on the positive slash maybe deluded to some people side. In terms of studying, this mainly involves me refreshing concepts like OOP and learning a bit of CSS as well because I feel like my knowledge is very basic as my course only gave an intro and I feel like I could do a lot more with styling when it comes to websites if I just knew more. I did consider learning C Sharp as it's quite in demand in the job market and I do have some experience already through my game dev projects. So I actually gave Xamarin Forms a go and I have mixed feelings about Xamarin Forms. As I'm used to something like React, I feel like Xamarin Forms is a bit finicky compared to it. And I did only make a simple to-do list app with it, so I can't really say much because I didn't give it enough of a chance. But eventually I did decide to go back to JavaScript because I feel like I wanted to cement it into my head and also I don't want to spread myself too thin. I'd rather be really good at a couple of things than just have minimal proficiency in a load of random stuff. So for my full stack app that I wanted to add to my portfolio, I had an idea to make a productivity app where it would schedule your time and tasks around blocks of time where you've said you're not allowed to put it here basically. So I hadn't thought through of how this would work, whether it would be AI or just kind of rule-based algorithms to spread your time intelligently but the main idea would be to maximize your time and also maximize your downtime as well but when i looked at a few other productivity apps just to get an idea of how they're structured i kind of molded my idea towards more of a tasks that you can check off and anti your calendar and also events that you could do which you could set reminders for or you could tell them to repeat because i felt like this is something that was more within what I would be able to do well and I didn't want to bite off more than I could chew because I actually wanted to finish this project and add it to my portfolio. So I decided to make my app with MongoDB being my database and also JavaScript and Express for the back end and probably React Native for the front end. I have made a start on integrating MongoDB with my Express app and setting up the databases for test production and development. The next steps will just be setting up all the CRUD operations. I was thinking of making a whole separate devlog video about art to go into more detail so let me know if you're interested in that. As for YouTube, I feel like my content is always changing. I did initially try and stick to a niche and that was game development but I felt like I don't want to limit what I can offer or give value on and since I'm trying to get a job in software development my content is probably going to lean towards that. I was considering looking into Flutter for game dev and making videos about that but that's not something I would prioritise at the moment. 
I would actually like to work on posting some general self-development videos because I've read a couple of self-help books that I feel like I could condense into a video and they could actually be quite valuable. This is a different style of video to what I normally make so let me know what you think of it but I was thinking of maybe just making these every other week to kind of keep up with my progress and show where I am maybe giving some tips along the way and also anything else to help you on your job search that I've learned through my own experience. And if you're interested in starting your coding journey check out this video here.